college football Saturday. I have the two most insane bets. You're going to want to tail them. Both are very profitable. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. Now, the first game we're going to be looking at is Houston versus Kansas. So Houston is best offered at minus 300 on bet online. The best line you can get on Kansas is plus 280 on FanDuel. So kind of sports betting 101 is you have to be getting the best possible odds in your location. That's called line shopping. It is literally sports betting 101. Ask any professional sports better, sharp sports better. You need to be browsing odds and ensuring on all your wagers you're getting a good price, right? And the reason is, you know, as a sports better, it's already hard to make money because sports books charge the vig. They charge the juice. But if you're placing bets at plus 250 when another bookmaker is offering you plus 280, all that's telling you is you're getting a terrible price, right? You're getting ripped off. So the easiest way to ensure you're not getting ripped off and you're at least getting the best odds in your location is to line shop. So line shop, line shop, line shop. It's core of sports betting. Now, the first bet I'm on, though, is a play on the total. So I don't have a money line. I actually have a positive EV bet, which just means a mathematically profitable bet, a bet with an edge over the sports book. So lines have been moving lower, ripping lower actually in Houston, Kansas. This total opened at like 62 and a half. It's down to 58 and a half. And we're able to find a great spot with value at minus 110 odds, right? So you can see Caesars is giving us minus 110. Resorts World, another sports book in New York, Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world. And then DraftKings are all pricing this around minus 130. And then Caesars has this at minus 110. So if we go ahead and we kind of click into the odds, what you'll notice is most of the sports betting market has the total at over under 57 and a half. We're getting over under 58 and a half. So we're able to get the under a full point higher, right? So in other words, we're hitting the under 58 and a half on Caesars. I hit this for 250 bucks, as you can see right here. And essentially, if there's 58 points in the game, my under cashes. Everyone else, people who bet the under on bet online, their bet loses, right? So even though that doesn't seem like a big deal, like, oh, what's the probability this game ends, you know, whatever, 30 to 28 with exactly 58 points, that's not the way you should be thinking about sports betting, right? Like when you're betting at minus 110 odds, what you can kind of, the way the pros think about it, the way the sharps, you know, kind of think about it is when you're betting at minus 110 juice, minus 110 odds, you need to win 52.4% of your bets to be profitable, right? It's not like the pros are winning 70% of their bets on total points, markets in college basketball or college football. No, they're winning 55%, 54%. Recreational bettors who make all the sports books all their money are winning on point spreads 50% of the time, right? You could pick the over the under blindly, just over, under, flip a coin to do it. You're gonna be winning at worst 50% of the time, right? It's, you're just essentially flipping a coin. Is the game going over or under? So when you're able to find these spots where a sports book is a couple points off from the rest of the betting market, you know, although your bet's not guaranteed to win, you're increasing the win probability from say 50% to 54%, 55%, which is why your bet is profitable, why your bet is positive EV, mathematically profitable. So it's not like this bet's going to win every time. That's not what Odds Jam is about. The way that Odds Jam works, right, is it takes all the odds kind of in the sports betting market on Caesars, scans them against other sports books, and says, here's where the value is based on where the sharpest bookmakers, such as Pinnacle, are pricing the total. Right, and you can see Pinnacle has this minus 132. It's an arbitrage bet to Pinnacle, only 19 cents in market width here. We have very high confidence that this bet is good, which it's on, which is why it's on the recommended filters, you know, tab. So kind of my recommendation is if you're just starting out sports betting, try to place like a lot of bets from the Odds Jam Positive EV tool, 20 a day, 30 a day, right? Um, because not every bet's gonna win, right? The, this isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. Sports betting, the way the Sharps do it, the pros do it, you have losing days. Nobody wins every day. It's all about finding bets with a mathematical edge, right, and placing as many as you can. 
you're essentially forming your own like portfolio of mathematically profitable bets. You're like a hedge fund in sports betting, right? That's the way you should be thinking about sports betting. So this is the first play I locked in. 250 bucks, 1.97% profit margin, under 58 and a half, Houston, Kansas. And you can go ahead and add this bet to your bet tracker. So the next play I have is Oregon BYU, first half total points under 29 and a half. So what we can actually do is go to FanDuel. You can see I tried to bet, you know, whatever. I tried to bet 500. They're like, yo, you make too much money off us. We'll give you 245.10. And it's like, okay. So I'll lock it in for the max I can. And it's going to log me out. So I'll have to include a screenshot of this, whatever. But 245.10 on the under 229.5 first half total for BYU versus Oregon. Here are my two bets. Here are the profit margins for Mods Jam, 1.9%. 1.97%. So our bets have 10 bucks in total profit margin, right? So that's your goal as a sports better. Place as many bets with an edge as you can on a daily basis, you know, and you're kind of forming your own portfolio of sharp, mathematically profitable bets. And then you hit the refresh button and see what else is out there. So hopefully you enjoyed this video.